With the recent announcement of PlayStation VR coming in October and retailing for $400, many are very excited about the new hardware from Sony. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top 10 upcoming PSVR games. Let's get right into this. Number 10, 100 Foot Robot Golf. 100 Foot Robot Golf is a real-time golf game where you control ridiculously large robots in a game of golf in a city. The game is up to four players and promises complete mayhem. You'll be able to destroy skyscrapers, knock down trees, and best of all, you can do all of this with VR. 100 Foot Robot Golf is a ridiculous game, but sometimes those are the most fun games out there. Unfortunately, we still don't have an exact release date as of now. Number 9, Star Wars Battlefront VR Experience. Star Wars Battlefront VR is something we don't know much about. I doubt that it's the complete Battlefront game from 2015 in VR. That would just seem a bit unrealistic. Hopefully it's something that's catered for VR and it's just not something tacked onto Battlefront to say, hey, we got VR. We do know that Star Wars Battlefront VR will be a PlayStation exclusive and we should get more information in the coming months, hopefully E3. Number 8, Battlezone. Battlezone is a first-person vehicular combat game with dynamic gameplay that blends dozens of environments, levels, and mission types. With VR, Battlezone puts you in the cockpit of what is essentially a super weapon. You play in what's known as the Cobra, which you can equip with a wide array of weapons and power-ups. The single player is probably promise to be a sizable experience with many levels and missions that are all on a procedurally generated map. The game will offer a lot of replayability because no two campaign playthroughs will ever be the same. Battlezone is coming first to PSVR in 2016. Well done. Number 7, Adrift. Adrift is a first-person adventure game that follows the story of an astronaut who floats through the wreckage of a destroyed space station with no memory of the incident. Over the course of the game, you'll find clues that piece together the events of the incident and attempt to repair the escape vehicle and return home. Adrift is played from a first-person view and the environment of the game may be fully explored, but you'll be restrained on how far you can go based on your oxygen limit. Adrift is the kind of game that seems absolutely perfect for VR. It releases this year. Number 6, PlayStation VR Worlds. Developed by London Studios, PSVR World is a collection of five different VR experiences that have all been built ground up exclusively for the PSVR headset. The five worlds include the London Heist, that puts you in a gritty gangland thriller, Into the Deep puts you to work as a deep sea salver, VR Luge puts you into the role of an illegal street racer, Danger Ball is a futuristic sport where you win or die, finally there's Scavenger's Odyssey which is a cab based sci-fi adventure where you play as an alien treasure hunter. PlayStation VR World seems like the Wii Sports of VR in that it'll show you what PSVR is capable of. Number 5, Golem. Golem is the first game from Highwire. The game allows the player to immerse themselves in a beautiful world as you take control of a giant stone golem and explore an ancient abandoned city. The game is being built ground up for VR, so expect this to be another game that really shows what VR is capable of. Golem will also feature original music from Marty O'Donnell, the composer of Halo and Destiny. The game doesn't have a release date yet, but hopefully it comes this year. Number 4, Riggs Mechanized Combat League. Riggs is a fast-paced, mech-centric, competitive first-person arena shooter. Riggs are highly tuned athletic machines that compete in a global sport of the future. There are also many different rigs to pick from with different specialties. Tempest is a lightweight flying rig, Mirage is a tall, agile rig, and Hunter are small, fast rigs that can get through gaps quickly. The game features elements of real-life sports that create tension, the last-minute goals, the saves, the blocks, expect all of those moments. Riggs is also being built ground up for PSVR and it's expected to release this year. Number 3, Eve Valkyrie. Eve Valkyrie is a multiplayer dogfighting shooter set in the Eve Online universe that is being designed to use VR tech. The game looks ridiculously good from a visual standpoint, so this will be a real benchmark to see how the PSVR can perform. If Eve Valkyrie can be ran at a smooth frame rate, then the possibilities are really endless. The game itself looks very good and hopefully we get it when the PSVR launches in October. If we lose them, we're stuck out here. Check your six. 
Number two, Ace Combat 7. While Ace Combat 7 isn't exclusive to VR, and that's probably a good idea, there's a lot of people that will want to play this game that won't buy VR, it does have a big emphasis on it. Ace Combat is a semi-realistic flight combat sim, and this is another game that I think is absolutely perfect for VR. Flying around and shooting in VR could be one of the best experiences VR offers. We still don't know if Ace Combat 7 is coming in 2016, but if you're buying VR, this is one you need to keep your eye on. Number 1, Gran Turismo Sport. Possibly the biggest marquee title for PSVR is Polyphony Digital's Gran Turismo Sport. It should be noted that Gran Turismo Sport should not be seen as Gran Turismo 7. It's a standalone entry and not a part of the main number series. GT Sport will also not be an exclusive title VR, but a racing game and virtual reality seems to be a match made in heaven. Series creator Kazunori Yamauchi described the VR experience as very good and very natural. The game will feature three game modes, campaign, sports mode, and arcade mode. As the title suggests, the game will have a big focus on the competitive play from big tournaments to live online events. Gran Turismo Sport is scheduled to release this year. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 upcoming PlayStation VR games. What do you think? Will you be picking up the hardware on day one, or will you be waiting for some more games to come to the platform? Let us know in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.